feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. <gasps> Like, are you dying? Do you want me to take you to A&E? Okay, yes. Ick, shiny. <laughs> Y'all already know what time it is. Time for part two. So we are doing the part two of the Ick. So you notice I'm in the exact same outfit as if you see my part one Ick video. And that's because I'm filming it straight after because she does not have the time of day. Do you think I have the time of day to schedule about a thousand videos being done in a week when school are deciding to give us ten times more work than they normally would if it was at school than online? Okay, yeah, exactly. I don't have the time. So we are filming it right now. But we are just going to get straight into it. Don't even need to explain everything because if you've seen my part one, you already know. If you haven't seen my part one, go and watch it after the part two of this video but basically we are just reacting to people's it's and just giving our full opinion whether they are actually an ick or they're a bit of like come on stop being fussy now these days you know stop being a bit fussy the first ick to this part two is thinking and acting like they're a 10 out of 10 when they're actually a 3 out of 10 so mm, this is like part it part not if people are acting like they're a 10 out of 10 it's because they feel good about themselves you know they're walking around like look at me i look fit i know i look fit but obviously in other people's eyes, you may only be a three out of 10. It's kind of awkward. However, you know, self-confidence is there. We appreciate the people with the self-confidence. But I suppose if you're acting like a 10 out of 10 on social media, like e.g. TikTok, when people make them TikToks and they're like, um, you know what I mean? That's not the only thing, like I said, all right. You know, and they're like that. And but deep down, you know, they look like they've just been dragged through a hedge backwards. Like I do half the time on the internet. Um, then it is a bit a bit embarrassing, but I wouldn't say it's an ick. It's just a bit like you've just been dragged through a hedge backwards, sweetheart. You look like a hedgehog with your hair like that. Come on. But then at the same time, I can't say anything. I do look like this on a daily basis. The next one is coats with fur hoods for boys. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I see it. I know what it is, but fur hoods are definitely different for a boy. They're definitely not what you usually see on a boy. I wouldn't call it an ick, you know, it's their fashion sense. If they like their fashion sense like that, then they like it like that. But it's just definitely changed. It's not something you usually see. Boys without fur hoods is definitely a lot, lot nicer. I don't know why that is. Like, please enlighten me as to why boys don't wear fur hoods as much as girls. Obviously, it is not as cute. But, like, why is that? Like, if everyone had been wearing fur hoods the whole time, it would have been all right. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if someone does something, like, out of the ordinary, it's a bit like, what? But if it was so ordinary, then it would be normal. Like, if fur hoods were normal, then it would be normal. It probably will not be an ick. But because they're not normal, like, it's an ick, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's just me, but that's my thought process. Next one is boys who do serious TikTok and think they look peng when they look like nubbeds. Okay. Okay, okay, yes, it's shining. What's that one TikTok where they're sat in the car, they come out of their car and they're like, can't remember what it is, but that TikTok, honestly, half the boys, I'm sorry, but you're not that, well, in my eyes, you're not attractive. And they're proper feeling themselves and they're proper like, oh, yeah, look at me, look at me. Mm, 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 mm. I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling myself. Like, no, no, you're embarrassing yourself, you're embarrassing yourself, you're embarrassing yourself. Like, it is not a moment at all for you to shine and you really shouldn't be shining in that moment. For example, okay, might get a bit of hate for this, Noah Beck. He was attractive at the start, He's now become rather unattractive. Like, no hate towards the guy. I mean, you do you. I'm jealous of your TikTok. You've got millions of followers. You know, you're really shining in the light. You're really getting that money in. I think you've got a Tesla as well. Like, I can't blame you. You're you're rich. However, he's just, he does TikToks all the time. And he's, like, proper feeling himself. And I'm like, sweetheart, you're not that fit anymore. You've proper changed. Like, I think he's he just got a bit big headed. His ego got boosted too much. And he was like, you know what? I am fit. And then it was like... Now, you know when people realise they're fit, they get too big-headed and then they just like change themselves to think they look even fitter. When sweetheart, you don't look any fitter at all. I feel like Noah Becker's dad is hair black because one of his recent Instagram posts, he had black hair. And honestly, that is not a move. Like, please, I hope that's instant washout. The next one is them sat on the toilet. Okay, I don't think that's an ick. Boys, I feel like it's more likely for boys to be sat on the toilet than girls to be sat on a toilet. Like, I don't know what it is. I feel like it's just a generic thing again. Like, girls don't sit on the toilet like boys do. You know how boys, like, 
you always see these things that are like poo times and things like that because they say like boys sit on the toilet for ages. I feel like that's just like a boy thing. You know what I mean? Like girls just don't sit on the toilet for ages. Like I was having a conversation with someone last night and they was like, I can't imagine Kendall Jenner like on the toilet. Like that is such a fact. Like Kendall Jenner, Madison Beer, like can you imagine even the queen on the toilet? Okay, the queen is not because she's fit, but like imagine the queen on the toilet. Well, don't because you might feel a little bit ill and it's a little bit of a strange thing to be thinking about and you might end up having dreams about it. You never know. But like, you just can't imagine some people on the toilet. But like boys, you just imagine boys in general on the toilet. I don't know what it is, but they just give off the toilet traits. The next one is boys breathing. Okay, th this is an ick. When they are in your ear or you're laid with them and they're going, <laughs> Like, are you dying? Do you want me to take you to A and E? Do you need some oxygen? Like, do you want CPR in a minute? Are you gonna go pass out on me? Like, please enlighten me. Why are you going? <laughs> like, okay, I'm sorry if you've had a medical condition because I know it's medical conditions where you're like you probably breathe heavy, like for example asthma and stuff that causes like heavier breathing and things like that. I'm pretty sure. I mean, don't rely on me on that. I feel like I've got really itchy ear. I feel like like a cat. The new and cats go. Like that, sorry, that was, that was really off track. Anyway, you know asthma, I feel like, I feel like it gives heavier breathing, I don't know. But if it's a medical thing and they can't help it, it's all right, we are like, you do you, breathe how you need to breathe, we want you to stay alive. But if a boy is just laid there for no reason and just going, <laughs> like you out of breath from laying down, like please enlighten me while you're out of breath from literally doing nothing. Enlighten me while you're such a heavy breather. That like, it does get annoying in your ear. Like if I have a heavy breathe, it's probably because I'm out of breath or I'm like, or I'm about to snore in my sleep. Like that is when I'm heavy breathing in my sleep. I am quite okay. I don't snore in my sleep. Before you all say I snore in my sleep, I sleep talk. Okay. And sometimes the sleep talking can be mistaken for snoring because I am a very heavy sleep talker. Like as in like when I'm talking in my sleep, I'll heavy breathe at the same time, which can be mistaken for snoring. However, I do not snore. But anyway, heavy breathing is an ick. Yeah, I get it. It's just really annoying as well. So don't heavy breathe in our ears, boys and girls. Next one is smoking. Massive ick for me. If you smoke as a boy, like get out of my life. Like I don't like smokers. I don't think the smell the smell is disgusting, like, ugh. Like, I get if you're trying it, you know, you're trying a bit weird, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not that bad if you're just trying it. But if you're, like, constantly smoking and smoking, that is so unattractive. Like, no thank you. Like, I think it's different if you're trying it, because you're trying it for the experience, you want to know what it makes feels like, or whatever. I get it. All right, hats off. You do you. You with all your friends, you just giving it a little try. But if you constantly smoke, like I said, then it's not attractive. It's not cute. The same as drugs. Drugs are not attractive to do all the time. Like, you try it, all right, you tried it, you got over it. But they're just not an attractive thing at all. And honestly, I bet, I've never personally kissed a smoker. But if you ever kiss a smoker, I bet they're... Ugh, I don't even want to think about it. The next one is when they try to be funny, but no one laughs. Oh, my God. I swear this happens to so many people and it is actually really embarrassing and it's a little bit of an ick, to be honest. Well, it's an ick to a certain extent. If you're, like, making a joke once, say it happens once and no one's laughed, you know, you're fine. If you're normally the comedian of the family, like, personally, I can say I'm the comedian of the family. I do bring the jokes to the family. Um, but if you do it all the time because you think you're hilarious and time after time, no, everyone sits there and just sits in silence, like... Like, at this point, if you do think you're a comedian and you're not, you do just need to face the facts. It may cause some heartbreak in your life. There may be a hole in your heart. But I promise you'll heal. Go to therapy. Go to clown school. Anything. Just, like, understand that you're not as funny as you think you are. And that's okay. Okay, the next one. Bit unusual. Them bending down to do their shoelace. Okay. Well, I'm glad they don't have Velcro shoes on because Velcro shoes, ew. Um, you know, that's primary school stuff, you know, when you're in year one and year two and you're trying to learn how to tie your laces, you have Velcro. However, when they bend down to tie their shoelaces, it depends. It depends how they do it. If they just, like, stop in the middle of the street and they're just like, hang on a minute, I need to tie my shoelace. Like, sweetheart, you could have walked a little bit further. Just get out of the main area, you know. It's a bit embarrassing. We just have to stand there whilst waiting for you to tie your shoelace. However, if, like, you're in the house and you're putting your shoes on to tie your shoelace, like, that's not an ick. Like, you need to tie your shoelace. Don't fall. Don't fall flat on your face because I can tell you, sweetheart, I don't know first aid. I am not going to be helping you. If you break your nose, for example, I don't quite know what to do frankly enough. 
So the next one is ignorance and acting different around different people. So acting different around different people is definitely a big thing. Like if you feel like you can't be yourself, then they're clearly not your true mates. Like I always think that. Like this is why I literally love filming because people only watch you if they like you for you, you know. You're not acting different, you're acting yourself. You're giving your full personality. And if I, if I generally can't do that in front of someone, like, or if they get put off by any of my personality, it's like, okay, I don't need you, I've got good enough mates, if you don't want to be my boyfriend, if you don't want to be my best mate, if you don't even be my friend, if you don't want to be civil with me, that is fine, like that is your choice, but I will not change to be different around people. I think if you are different, it's like, well, what's the true you? You know, oh, she got deep for a second. What, what is the true you though? If you're acting this way around these people and this way around these people and this way around me, which is the normal you like can you just please act normal like i would always want my friends to feel like they could be themselves around me like boyfriend anything just be yourself because at the end of the day i will like you for who you are oh, so heartfelt millie not for like who you're trying to be as if you're trying to impress me if that makes sense like or like change to impress like that's just not cute bye thank you next next the next one is when they try to talk in a group but no one listens okay that happens a lot to me i start talking no one listens like okay everyone listens for like two seconds and then they stop talking but then to be fair i realize that no one's listening so i stop talking if like you realize no one's listening but you carry on talking cut the cameras cut the cameras just realize no one's interested in what you're saying like shut up talking okay the next one is saying juice instead of squash disagree i call it juice Blackcurrant juice, orange juice, lemon bar okay, lemon barley juice. You don't really say juice at the end of that, but like orange juice, blackcurrant juice, you know, strawberry juice. I don't know if you can get strawberry juice actually. But like I say juice instead of squash. Like I have never said squash. So personally, if you say squash, it's a little bit weirder to me than saying juice. But does this depend where you're coming from? Like, I suppose not everyone will say like squash and juice. You know what I mean? Like some people might have different things like cordial. Oh, that's it. Cordial, we sometimes call it cordial in this household call me weird but we call it cordial juice not squash the next one is running for the bus okay if you're running after a bus and what the hell running 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 after a bus it gets a little bit embarrassing you know if the bus is pulling away from you going ah, and you know you're just running shoom, darting past and the bus is driving away from you taking no notice i don't even want to be involved like i will happily catch the next bus like i'm honestly not that bothered or we can call for a taxi or something different if we need to get somewhere immediately say that bus was the only time immediate somewhere immediately i'll happily pay for a taxi rather than you running down the street after a bus or like even a train to be honest like the other things worse things could happen in the world there's other worse things you could happily run for it's just personally embarrassing and i will be put off if someone's just like running after a bus it's like Calm down, sweetheart. Everything's gonna be alright. Don't cry. Hold it together. It's just a bus. The next one is spamming my phone with messages when I'm not replying or I'm busy. Okay, yeah. There is spamming to a certain extent. So there's spamming, just send them a couple of snaps to fill them in on your life. That is perfectly fine. I'll happily open them. I'll happily look at them like fill me in on your life. I wanna know. I'm interested. I'm not a nosy person, but like I'm not gonna be like, oh I don't honestly don't care about your life like literally go away like you don't get with someone if you don't care about their life you know what i mean like you get with someone because you're interested in them if that makes sense if you are messaging me on iMessage you're messaging me on snapchat you're messaging me on instagram you're even emailing me okay i'm busy do you not get it i'm not on my phone like if whether you email me, I message me, Snapchat me, Instagram, you're not going to get a quicker reply from me. Like, okay, I've told my friends on Snapchat because I barely reply to people. I've said, look, I've got three people pinned. And then I've said, look, if you need me immediately, literally message me on iMessage and say, open Snapchat. Like, no end of times, my mate Charlie has messaged me saying, Millie, open Snapchat. Millie, look at Snapchat quickly. Because even though I have her pinned, to be fair, she's one of the pinned, I literally don't open them immediately. So for me, someone messaging me on my like, iMessage to open the message isn't weird. But like, if you're messaging me on iMessage about 10,000 times, like, open my Snapchat, why aren't you opening Snapchat? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, where are you? Like, I'm in school. I'm literally doing my schoolwork. Like, Come on, she's got other things to be done in her life. She doesn't need to message you every two seconds. That's what I always think. Or like if you're just new to speaking to someone and they start spamming you with messages like, why aren't you replying, why aren't you replying? Like, why are you being so demanding with friends? 
Like you may see the journey going somewhere, but the journey's just stopped because you've just got the ick for them because they've just spammed you ten times like where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Like why do you need the feel feel the need to message me every two minutes? Like I don't feel the need to message you every two minutes, so you should feel the need to message me every two minutes. The final one is getting too jealous. Okay, if you get too jealous of little things, then that is gonna cause bumps in the road in your relationship. Or if you just started to message if right. If you just starting to message someone and they're already getting jealous of say someone you're literally messaging and been best mates with for I don't know how long and they're all like why are you messaging him? Why? And like they're probably jealous. You know when someone's jealous they're probably like why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Like I always think that happens when they're really jealous. Like it's like well I barely know you. I've just started messaging you and you're like this. I'm going to be put off you straight away like immediately. Thank you. Next. However, if it's your boyfriend and they, I don't know, when they're like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? You feel like you're not trusted. And I feel like that feels like an absolute bag of crap. But at the same time, a lot of jealousy comes from, I find when like someone's your best mate, same relationship and they've like got a best mate. At the end of the day, if people are like, are you not jealous of it? Like, no, because at the end of the day, they've probably, at the end of the day, I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. They've probably been best mates with that person since before you even knew them. So it's not a problem to you, if that makes sense. Like, you shouldn't be jealous of someone who's been their best mates for ages. Like, if you do, that is a you problem. And that is probably something you need to look into yourself. Um, I am not a specialist in this area. Go happily seek therapist, seek some help. That is the video over with. I've been talking for about an hour now. My throat is dying i've been ranting i've been shouting my household probably thinks i am dying yet no one has came to check on me which is really really kind of them but thank you so so much for watching don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe because i know a lot of you watch i can see that a lot of you are not subscribed that watch so please do subscribe all your support is appreciated you know keep up with my posts on a wednesday at 6 p.m and a saturday at 9 a.m and thank you so so much for watching comment down below any video suggestions and if you like this kind of video i love this kind of video like, i'll happily sit and talk for england but yeah thank you so so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye